I had barely come of age When I seen how war was waged In the Belgian Congo, 1961 The sun that tried to burn us The jungle tried to turn us The mercenaries, they came to mow us down We fought with all our might And they sent the jet to strike Made sure we never closed our weary eyes I was dizzy with the thirst When I fired another burst We sent another wave of men away We fought three thousand men Should we do it all again? Sometimes at night I fight them in my dream I think of those attacks And how we held them back We fought them all for every piece of ground Though we didn't yield An inch of battlefield We were taken off As prisoners of war We took a look around That bloody battleground We realised the cost Of rich man's wars for six weeks we were held Now the truth you I'll tell I couldn't wait to get myself back home Made to take the blame We were but pawns in a game we Very nearly took the world to war When to Dublin we returned Our salutes, they were spawned In fact, they stabbed us in the back They scandaled us and lied Tried to take away our pride We sometimes had to fight to earn it back Back when Lynn's dead and gone Yet this memory it lives on A hero who brought his company home Though I was just a kid I'm so proud of what we did With those lads beside me No courage did we lack I'm a UN vet And I wear the blue beret And I own my house That's up in Arbor Hill I look at my surroundings And my comrades all around us As we kneel and pray For those who have passed on Fifty-five years they have gone And I put my medals on I polish up my shoes For mass parade For those of you who scorned us They repeatedly ignored us Heroes are not born They are made The year was 
was 1961 Ireland sent away her sons To stop the genocide been done By bow and arrow, spears and guns When the lad soldiers in And he vowed he'd bring them home again So the countdown had begun For battle beneath the Congo sun Make your rounds, count everyone You can use your bayonets when you're done The Irish soldiers dug in well they sent the jet to give them hell So raise your glasses everyone And you can tell the story to your sons Tell them of the history made When there was no white feathers on parade Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to Janival Day 2019 at Loan. In honour of the members of A Company 35th Infantry Battalion and family representatives of those who are deceased. This ceremony will include an honour guard salute for the Mayor of Athlone, Frankie Keena, a pennant party of posts and branches of veteran associations and organisations, a colour party of the national flag, the UN flag and the A Company 35th Infantry Battalion pennant, the reciting of a poem by veteran Joe Dukes, a musical tribute by harpist Kate Gavin in recognition of National Harp Day. The placing of floral tributes by family members in memory of the deceased members of Jadaville. And when you're called, ladies and gentlemen, just pick up your, your carnation and bring it to the front. Thank you. The blessing of wreaths and the, lead, the reading of the Roll of Honour by Father Liam Cuff. The laying of two wreaths by family representatives. We'll have one minute silence. The last post, a piper's lament. The sounding of Ravalli and the playing of the national anthem musical salutes. And as you will see at the back of the handouts, the words of Iran Avin are there and we'll all sing it. The ceremony then will, will finish up and conclude with a march past salute of veterans in honour of the Jadaville Tigers seen, seated here in the front row. And I'd like to invite you to have to give one big round of applause to the members here today. The parade commander, David Carrick, will now form the parade. Ready on parade? 
is the Irish United Nations Veterans Association pipe band coming on parade will be the honour guard of the post 9 Ionva. The first group marching on are the Ionva Veterans Association. In block two is the Organisation of National Ex Service Men and Women, the ONE. Block three, we have the Defence Forces Unit and Corps Veterans. And in block four, we have members of the Civil Defence. I don't be. Just pee. Perfect. Heart shawl. Bring it forward, Josh. Josh, you see. You're invited to remain standing as the colour party of the national flag, the UN flag and the pennant of A Company 35th Infantry Battalion is called on parade. the national flag. John Wade is carrying the UN flag and Roy Cunningham is carrying the pennant of the 35th, A Company 35th Battalion and is also a grandson of Janaville Tiger, Christopher Roach. Janaville Day was adapted by the veterans of the Defence Forces in 2016 to honour the members of A Company 35th Infantry Battalion 
and to acknowledge the bravery that each and every one of you have shown during the siege which lasted five days. Gardevoir Day is observed annually on or around the nearest Saturday to the 25th of October, which was the anniversary of the date that you were released from captivity in 1961. We, the veterans of the Defence Forces, are honoured to be here today to pay tribute to you and remember the members of A Company who have passed away. The medal on Bon Jadaville was presented to you on Saturday the 2nd of December 2017. It is engraved with the words Kossant, Kalma and Mishnyak, which translate when translated means valiant, defence and courage. And as previously said, these are the nearest words to describing utter bravery. At Lone Institute of Technology kindly acceded to a request for us to hold the ceremony here today on behalf of the veterans and family representatives of A Company 35th Battalion and the veterans of the Defence Forces, we say Gurev Mahdagiv. Thank you so much. It's a fantastic facility and you're so kind to let us use it. This is not the first time Jadaville Hero stood or graced the hallowed turf of this institute. On the 27th of April last year, John Gorman was conferred a Distinguished Fellowship Award in recognition of his tireless efforts to make right a wrong that was bestowed on A Company 35th Infantry Battalion and in doing so also led to the award of Amban Jadaville. I think we owe John a big round of applause. A poem in tribute to the Jadaville heroes will now be recited by its author and Defence Forces veteran of 37 years service, Joe Dukes. Joe? Joe was one of the original pathfinders of Irish UN service when he went and served with the 32nd Infantry Battalion in the Congo and also had service in Cyprus with the 10th Infantry Group. Lord Mayor, Senator McFadden, Father Cuff, veterans of Jadaville, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. When I recite this poem, I have not, I'm not being ignorant of bad manners, but at four o'clock, I have a great grandson, Ushin, being christened in St. Mary's, so I have to make a quick exit. <laughs> <laughs> now, when thinking about this, I decided I knew them all. But if I start putting names in, it wouldn't be a short poem, it'd be more like War and Peace. So this is a small tribute to the veterans and the survivors of the country. And it goes something like this. I know it off by heart, but when I was on the Nancy Rose course in 1956, we got a brand new left in the current, named Noel Keary. And he insisted we must have our notes at all times. And he ran his own place. And he's here today. They assembled in costume barracks. It was a bright and sunny day. The battalion was the 35th, and they carried the pennant of Company A. With pride, they marched on to the square, looking forward to adventure and the trail, not knowing a short while later they would be the heroes of Jadovin. When the first shots of our anger were fired, they were in church, unarmed in prayer. Through the trenches, lads, the order came, for this is what we did prepare. Oh, they are gone, but they're not forgotten, not as long as free words fly, for they fought with bravery and courage beneath that African sky. Oh, they're the heroes now of Jadavel, who will be remembered in folklore and, yes, in song, but each day, and the God I pray, I ask him, why did it take so long? For time has taken us to now, and must have gone to God's trenches in the sky. Yet people say about the Jadavs defenders, your bravery lives on, for heroes never die. Now all of this would have been forgotten, and into history would not have gone, 
were a nut for a corporate named Gorm, whose Christian name was John. Quote him of it, I was land missions well. Thank you very much, Joe, for taking time out of your family schedule today. Thank you very much. <coughs> today also happens to be National Harp Day. We are honoured to have an All-Ireland Champion Harpist with us to perform a mus musical tribute in recognition of National Harp Day and Jadaval Day. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Sligo, we have Kate Gavin, also on display, just beside her is a, an original O'Carolan's harp, which was made by Tony <coughs> Tahani. And Tony is the son of James Tahani, Jadaville Tiger. Kate. Okay. Absolutely fantastic, Kate. Beautiful. And uh, I think Kate, when the parade is finished and we, we fall out, I think Kate's going to try a number on the oh, Carolyn, is it? Well, we'll have a go at it. Well done. That was beautiful. Thank you very much.
Family representatives of the deceased, I'd like to invite you down to take a carnation and just lay it behind the reed stands in memory of your loved ones that are not with us anymore. If you don't, if you're not able to make the journey down, we'll get some of the lads to lay them out. Just those that can make it down, you're welcome. Deceased members from the 35th Infantry Battalion, family members and friends. Lord, grant them the grace of your light and your truth. We think especially this year of Thomas Larkin and his family. We cherish all their memories and we were blessed by their leadership and courage and friendship. We remember also all your colleagues in Jadaville who died tragically alone and all colleagues who suffered in mind, body, or spirit. Be their companion, Lord, and strength. We are grateful too, today, to all Jadwickville veterans living, and we think of those deceased, who have helped us, the children of Jadwickville, to share our stories with one another. As we bless this read now, we honor your colleagues, family members, and we are grateful to them and proud of them. May all whom we remember today continue to inspire us and support us on our pilgrim journey. Reapers! Reapers!
I'd now like to invite Maureen Malloy and Danny Tiernan to lay wreaths as members of the Janival families. Silence. You're invited to stand. The last post will now be sounded. Ravadi will now be sounded, immediately followed by the playing of the national anthem. You're invited to, to sing.
You may now be seated as the parade marches off and forms for the march past the salute. scorned us, they repeatedly ignored us, heroes are not born, they are made. 